what is going on everybody welcome back to another amazing video today we're going to be playing supermarket simulator so without further ado let's hop into it all right so right now it seems like i need to access my computer order goods using it so let's go market all right let's add one of each go through here so this game pretty much all we're going to be doing is just adding groceries and all this stuff just to expand and create our supermarket so the end goal is to have this amazing supermarket kind of like walmart style-esque i guess but without further ado let's purchase okay i cannot purchase this yet all right so let's go into my cart let's take off that 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 i guess we'll purchase this purchasing some basic stuff let's go back out of this pick up the boxes grab this let's open all right we got some bread let's go ahead and stock this oh beautiful amazing all right and then we go over here and we throw it away in there we got some cereal let's go stock it on the shelf right next to it and get this all in here all righty throw this one away now let's go back and set the prices on this all right so it looks like the price we bought it for is 99 cents the market price right now is 396 so let's go ahead type that in there 396 hit okay got that one now let's mark this one 299 was cost to buy it 598 is the retail price so let's go ahead and put that in there okay beautiful wonderful all right now open the store wait for first customer just gonna wait here oh there she is what do you want and you know some cereal good choice good choice all right now interact with this okay grab it scan it take the cash all right collect the right amount total is nine so i need four dollars so let's go one two three four and two cents one two perfect now hit space to approve and adios all righty come on come on in brand new store all right so it looks like we got another customer here oh take the card put the card in there the total is 598 let's input that and there we go you want some bread there you go another card total is 396 so let's 396 perfect adios now we just keep waiting for amazing customers to come in. Looks like my objective right now is to check out 25 people. So we're just gonna sit here and wait for these people to come in and start checking them out. Alrighty, so it looks like we got our big order here. You know, two items, two items, big right now. I'm gonna have 994. Get that going. You have a great day, businessman. Nice suit, nice suit. All right, so I've been playing for a little bit, and I wonder if I can cheese this. So the total is nine ninety four. I have to give him back six cents. Let's. Oh, I can't just take my six cents. All right, take your money back. Get out of here. Don't even want you no more. All right. Well, we're just waiting. Um, you know what? While we're waiting, let's. Okay, we're gonna get these two, and then we're gonna go a little exploring. All right. All righty, we are off stores open they can wait a little bit it's fine i'm not gonna have that much flow but it looks like this is quite the big map i'm not quite sure i think we're just kind of secluded to this can i change the name let me okay i guess we'll have to figure out how to change the name but there is a customer waiting on me so let's go boop boop take your card 994 all right let's go and check this out let's see so 69 bucks we could get some more stuff, but that's not what I want to look at. Management. So product licenses. So these are the stuff we can purchase to get more product. Bills. No bills right now. Growth. So this is how we expand out. Looks like you can expand 23 times in hiring. There we go. So once we complete 200 checkouts, we can hire these cashiers. Storage. Storage at 800. And then customization is coming soon. Bank. I can pull out loans from the bank. That's good to know. All right, let's go get this guy so we don't get, he doesn't get too irritated waiting on us. No cash back. There you go. All right, so as you can see, our products over here are getting low. So let's go into here. Let's go to market. Let's add one of these. 
47, let's throw in something like that. Let's throw in one of these. Can we just get everything? Yes, we can. All right, so we're just gonna do this, purchase all that, and now that it all should be waiting outside for us, so let's go and stock these shelves a little bit more. I'm gonna have to set the prices on these, so. All right, let's see, Susu 483 is what that is selling at. So type that in there. Just gonna do that with the rest of these boxes. Don't wanna bore you guys to death with all this stocking. All right, so we just got done restocking. We got quite the line going, so let's just come through, clean this out a little bit. 396 for some bread. There you go, good sir. You have a fantastic day. Now get out of here. Good little order, $15 there. No change back, deuces. 9.96, any change? 34 so let's do that i'm terrible at bath for these perfect all right jesus 517 for change man can i even got it close at all jeez big order big order 21 bucks let's go you gave me a hundred for 20 21 you gave me a hundred dollars for a 21 dollar order i hate this guy Oh shit, I'm setting product without selling its price. Oops. It's fine. It's fine. We're still making cash. We just should have take it. Take it. Gosh, this is so annoying. Need three cents. One, two, three. Get out of here. I forgot to set the price. I suck. Everything else. So this was the only thing that didn't have price on it. So hopefully I didn't lose too much money doing that. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, give me your card. 198. Yep. You fleece me. Good job, man. Good job. Get those out there. 1196. I think we're getting pretty close to end of day. Let's see. 1758. Last customer, I think. All right. So I got one more customer I need to check out. Anyone want to come in? Nope. Day has ended. So let's just go right now. Um,. Press enter to finish the day. Can I order anything? Ooh, I can. I can add things to cart. So let's do this real quick then. Let's see. I think I can get one, two, three bread, three of those. So pretty much three of everything. The Panaz Ziti, however you say it. So let's go. Damn, 107 bucks for that? All right, we're just going to add one of each of these then. And then can I add one more? I can. All right, so we got two bread. All right, we're just gonna, okay. Hopefully this stays in there then for tomorrow, but press enter to finish the day. First day done. Products not found one, 23 satisfied customers, supply costs. We profited $58 today. All righty, prices have, ch have prices changed? I heard prices change in this. 396 still for that. What about this? 598 still for that. This 483. Cool. This still 312. All right. So let's go and place this order. Purchase. It's all going to be out there. Let's go and stock this area up. Go lay this all out there. Perfect, perfect. I can't wait till I get employees and then they'll do all the hard work for me. So right now we're just going to stock all this up. Alrighty, so we have finished stocking up the store. Bread's looking good. Cereal, everything else is about the same level. Prices have not changed. So let's just open this store up and wait for our one customer. So that way we can perform our 25 checkouts and see what happens. There we go. Been waiting a little bit. Been waiting about an hour game time for our one customer yes load up on those come over here let's check you out real quick give me that cash no change perfect so we performed our 25 now it's per purchase product license using a computer so i'm gonna have to go through today save some money and then purchase that product license so that way we can then go on and further advance our store so if anything happens i'll let you guys know but right now it seems like we're just gonna be grinding today out all right, guys, I don't know what's wrong with these guys, okay? He bought a slice, slice of bread, cereal, right? $9.94, paid with a $100 bill. Why? Like, what's the reasoning for that?
because he's in a fancy suit and they think he can do what he wants. You know what? It's whatever, guys. It's whatever. You know what? Have a great day. Pay with the card. Perfect. 879. See, why can't they just all either pay with card or exact change? Okay. But on the flip side, we're about $50 away from being able to get the new product license so hopefully we are able to complete that by the end of today it looks like we might be able to with some big orders like this get this person their 12 cents back another big order 19 <sighs> okay it's fine it's fine there's your 80 to 80 dollars and 12 cents back have a fantastic day all right, just need one more customer to come in, one more, and then we're able to get the product license, hopefully. Yes, that's all I needed you to get, man. 483, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. 4.83, beautiful. Get you checked out. 483, need 17 cents to change. That's fine, there you go. You getting two of them. Oh, you're getting some cereal, two, two cereal also. Okay, big payday, big payday. All right, check this guy out. Perfect, now let's go and get our product license. I think it's in management, yep, right here. Purchase that, perfect. So it looks like we got bottled water, cheese. Okay, um, I wasn't. Purchase a fridge or shelf, shelf, self. Purchase a fridge or shelf. Let's go market furnitures fridge or shelf so that is two hundred dollars what are the new products i have wait one second okay so i need only things that can be displayed on the shelf so it looks like tea milk eggs eggs need fridge so it looks like coffee and tea are the only shelf ones we have everything else needs Fridges, so we're just gonna be waiting a little bit and hopefully we will be able to get the stuff we need to progress further and get that $200 to get that fridge. All right, that was the last customer for the day. So I can finish the day, let's go and see. I do have these products, so I might as well stock these since I have them and it won't cost me any extra money to do that. And now I'll just have to remark these for whatever they will cost. 371, so set that up. Okay, set this one up. 450. There we go. Get that going. Um, and then I will buy, I think I'm going to buy another thing of the oil. I'm pretty sure that's oil. Hopefully it's oil. Um, buy another one of those because that seems to be what is going to get me the most profit margin. So buy two of those uh, and then I'll buy one of these and then I don't think I can buy pasta. There we go. I'll buy all of those. I can purchase them tomorrow morning. So what we're going to do, escape in the, in the day. There we go. Products not found. Total profit, negative $52. It'll be all right because today is going to. So, sliced bread went down. So, let's go and change this real quick. 317. I knew there that it does change. So, hopefully, us getting some bread isn't going to mess that up. Oh, one of these went up in price. Dang it. Uh, we'll take rid of Ron's bread because that just went down in price. So, that makes the most sense. Alrighty, so now let's go over and grab our two boxes, our Ponzi, which I think we're, can we store that? Oh, that's not where I was storing it to begin with, but that's fine. We'll take that right there. Take this over here, store it on this shelf. Perfect. Alrighty, now I'm just going to go through, make sure all the prices are right, and then we'll start the day. All right, so I went through and the prices are correct on everything. So let's go ahead and open up shop and let's invite some of these customers in. All right, guys. Well, this lady just came in. The last customer I need to get to be able to obtain that fridge is going to be $4.58 and she's going to need $15 back in $15.50 back in chain. There you go. Have a good one. Last customer. 
You can take your money back by right clicking on the bills in the cash register. Okay, that's good to know. So if I over, if I give them too much, I can go ahead and click on it and take it back. Oh, 91 exact. Have a good one. Last customer right here. And then it will be able to put that fridge in our put that fridge in our checkout and be able to get that okay why do they keep coming in is the game they should be done is the game broken i think the game might be a little broken all right i think that was finally my last customer right there okay so it looks like we got 236 so i'm gonna hop in here go to here get fridge a buy put that in there and then i have 36 dollars so let's see can i get Let's see, I can add one of those to my cart, one of these to my cart, one of those, nope, can't add that. So let's take that off there. So it looks like I, anything, yeah, I think that'll be all I'm able to get for tomorrow. So we'll keep that up there and we'll end the day. And then tomorrow we will have that fridge and get some things set up in there. But today we made $179 in total profits. But that's all going to go down the drain because I'm about to place this order and we're going to be broke again. So that's perfect. All right. So here is the fridge. I'm thinking about doing the fridge kind of uh, right here, kind of starting a fridge wall coming down from this. Let's try and get this as close as I can. Oh, come on. Come on. Right there. All righty. And then we got some refrigerated stuff. So I think I have been kind of messing up, right? I've been trying to uh, make every shelf their own thing. And I think right now in the beginning, it's best to just have most items up there because I was getting some complaints yesterday about not having all the product I said I did on the shelf. So it looks like we're going to have to kind of be forced to do two melts right here, but that'll be all right. Um, and now we're just going to make sure everything's labeled correctly. Go add prices onto this. 240 is going to be the price for this. Perfect. And now for the cheese, it's going to be 340. All right. So we have a little bit more options. I think the next thing I am going to do is going to be kind of clearing out the shelves that I've stocked multiple things on and then just kind of making sure we have everything in the store so that way we don't have people getting upset at us that we don't have all the items we said we were going to have in the store. Alrighty, here is my last customer today. He just wants $9 worth of oil. Let's get him $11 back. Alrighty, so it looks like we have pretty much completely ran out of stock. We got $120, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to, let's see, take some of this stuff off. So let's see, I'm going to remove these two. Okay, I don't need the powdered sugar. Uh, what do I already have in there? I have, do I, I don't have bread in there, so I'll throw the bread in there. Okay, now I have $13 to buy some. Do I have flour in here? Because I might throw one of those in there. I do not, so I'm going to throw flour in there. Oh, I, I'm dumb. I only had $4 left. <laughs> Okay, all right, well, this is what we are gonna buy. We're gonna purchase that tomorrow and hopefully it will last us throughout the day and make us some of our money back along with some of the other stuff we have. Products not found, 16, nine satisfied customers, 25 total store points, 115, and we lost $62. So we're kind of losing money right now, but that's as to be expected. We are a brand new store, so I'm gonna buy this. What you, they went up, it went up. I'm, it says 16 over here. I am 32 cents. So it looks like we're not getting sliced bread. Actually, no, we're not going to get the coffees. The coffees in them, they cost way too much money. So we're going to add that. Okay. So we got the cereal, the water, and the sliced bread. We're going to add a flour. We're going to add... Do I still need oil? Could add a oil, but since I already have it, I'm not going to add a pasta. Add some sugar powder, okay, and then we're gonna add water, some cheese, and some milk. Okay, we can't do the milk, all right. So let's get the milk out of there. 
No, it's too expensive. So take that down. We got it figured out. This is what we're going with. We're going to spend that money and then we are going to stock it all. And then hopefully we will not go broke. I do believe I have bills too. I got rent and all that stuff. I think keeping the lights on might charge me extra. So I'm just going to rock without those lights on. Um, don't get bad at me. But uh, stock this cheese in here. Perfect. Now I'm just going to stock this whole store up. You guys will not have to go through the brain nummy grind of trying to get this all figured out and stocked up. But it'll be all right. And I'll see you guys all in a little bit. So I didn't even realize I bought uh, two things of water, but it'll be all right. Hopefully they will sell out pretty quick. But let's go set all these prices. Make sure they're all good and adjusted right. 317, perfect. 598, perfect. What about these? 371, perfect. 483, perfect. These still good at 450, yep. Let's go over here. 340, yep. And now let's set the price for these. This is going to be two a two dollar bottle of water all righty now we are going to start the day and hopefully today will be a little bit better than the other ones and we'll be able to profit some money and stock up as much of the store as possible in preparation for uh opening the new part of my store and expanding a little bit Alrighty guys, so we have $98 right now. I'm just kind of looking around seeing some of the things we need. We need oil. So let's go oil. We got those. We need pasta. We got that. We got that. We got that. Um, don't have room for any of that. Can I afford one of these? Yes, I can. So right now we will did purchase those. And there's a guy waiting for multiple people waiting for me at the check register. So I'll check them out and then I will get on to stocking those. All right. So I just stocked all this stuff. I got some of the Navarro coffee and then I got all this stuff stocked up. Some more oil, all that good stuff. So now let's hopefully start making some more money off of these. 371. Let's do this. I, I'm hoping to see one. I think he might have just grabbed one of the coffees. They're worth ten dollars so that's a pretty big piece of cash and he did along with some other stuff 28 i think that might be one of my biggest checkouts yet so that coffee and tea might actually be worth it so i think i am going to get that tea and then we are going to see how much that is real quick. Let me finish checking this guy out. I'm sure, you get an extra cent. All righty. So, T, add that. Let's go purchase. Hopefully, someone will come and buy T. So, that way, how much is this? Okay, so this is a little cheaper. It's $5.78, but there are a lot of them. So that will be way worth it. Let's go turn on these lights so we can see and let's start checking some of these people out before they start leaving. Alrighty, just going to finish checking these guys out, guys. And then we will see how much money we end the day with. Alrighty, there was my last customer of the day and we ended the day with $172. Oh, wait, we got one more. It's 9 p.m. You should not be coming in here, but... I'm happy I stayed because he got two tea or two coffees. So twenty dollars. You know what? Just because you're so nice, I'm gonna give you. Okay, so I can't do give him. Oh, that would be charging him more. <laughs> I'm dumb. Alrighty, there we go. That is it. We need to get some more cheese and stuff like that for tomorrow. So I will just put in an order. So we got coffee, tea, bread. Still got those, those, those. So it looks like. I need some cereal. Let's figure this all out real quick. Exit out of the cart. So it looks like I need cereal. I think I got flour. I think I had those. Um, I had water. I need some of that. Do I, did I have flour or was I, I don't have flour. Flour is one of the things I do need. So add that. Now let's see flour. If we're adding flour, we got the bread. We got some cereal covered. We got some coffee. It's some of the cheese. I think that is all we are going to need. So I'm just going to 
add a couple more things like this coffee because it is going to be a very big money maker for us and then i think that'll be all i can add with all the stuff i have so we are going to end the day 14 products not found 27 satisfied customers 72 dollars in profit so raw sliced bread and eggs went up so let's go put this to three 80 everything else is the same let's go order this and stock our store Alrighty, guys well this is where i am going to end this amazing video i hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure to like subscribe comment all that great stuff and i'll see y'all in the next one deuces